And Sean's got another one on. That's a good one. Hey guys, what's up? So I am here at Tippy Dam Campground, uh, first camp of 2022. And in Michigan, that still means ice and snow, but here's the really cool thing. First of all, we have an amazing view up here. And secondly, uh, we are finally coming to the end of our freeze, I think. Hopefully the Lord provides a early uh, spring and an early warm up because I am so excited to get out there and make content for you guys and really just keep doing the stuff that I love. Uh, so yeah, um, I do wanna show you guys this view that we've got, it's pretty exciting. Um, and uh, you know, 200 subscribers might not seem like a lot, but it's a big deal, especially, it took us one whole year to get to 100 subscribers. And then in two months, we managed to get all the way to 200 subscribers, 200 plus. We're on the upside of 200 now, or it's going up. I, I, last time I checked, it was 213. Uh, hopefully by the time this video airs, it'll be even higher. Uh, because the goal is, guys, to highlight the beauty of Northern Michigan and to be able, for me, to be able to do the stuff that I love, uh, really, and and have the ability to do that. So, uh, yeah, I just want to take, take a moment and show you guys this amazing view. There's an island out here. You can see the dam. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look at our view from our campsite, huh? It's all still frozen. Should have brought my ice fishing equipment, but I didn't. Just beautiful. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's get the camp set up. So we had a, an air mattress, I think, for the bed of the truck that we got from Sean a while back. And I can't seem to find it, so instead I guess we're going to be on yoga mats and some blankets. So hopefully we'll be able to sleep. And you know what, I just realized I forgot. Good thing Julie's coming later. I forgot to grab our pillows, so hopefully she can grab those on the way uh, down here. Honestly, you can have a machete and a big knife or something, but I mean, if you can carry a hatchet, do it. Um, obviously, this is a cheapo one, but uh, I would advise getting a tomahawk from a, a Veteran Hawk, a Hunter Larson's company, who's one of our contributors. Um, but anytime you can have a hatchet, way better having a hatchet than just a knife or just a machete. Because um, can you use them that way? Yeah, you can, but are they as effective? No, they're not. Um, I've used machetes, I've used big knives, trying to baton, uh, uh, you know, um, wood is, I mean, this is just so much crazy easier, as long as you know what you're doing. These little pieces you want to save.
I hope you guys can hear that. I don't know if that'll catch up that bass, but <laughs> the whoomp, the whoomp is coming off the lake. Just a cool noise. Stuff, these are winter sounds, you know, and we're not very used to winter sounds, I guess. Tell you what, guys, I'm thankful that we reached 200, and I am really thankful that um, I get to be out here and do this. Um, a lot of hard work right now, uh, putting in 60 to 80 hours a week so I can get content, build this uh, channel, um, uh, do my other two jobs where I can sell satellite internet and uh, and and, and uh, I pastor a church in Wellston, Michigan, um, which is a joy to me, of course. Uh, but I'm so excited to be able to do that and do this, you know. And then on top of that, being a husband and father too, lots of work. But this is. This is what I needed, and I, I believe the Lord knew it. Um, I was not very healthy, and uh, I've lost uh, uh, like 80 pounds or so, 60, 80 pounds, I think it was. And uh, yeah, and it's by actually getting out and doing what I love. Before I would just would think about doing what I love. Now I'm actually doing it. So I encourage you, you know, if you're watching this and you're one of those people, you get out and do what you love too. All right, so I went on a walk to see if I could just find some supplemental wood. We brought some out with us. Uh, and one thing that I was actually hoping to find uh, was a particular dead type of tree um, because it is nature's fire starter. And I found a dead birch. And the reason why that's exciting is because it is, in fact, nature's fire starter. The bark on a birch is super flammable. Hope it is, in fact, a birch. Ooh, it might be a popple. There's a birch further down, but man, that's gonna be difficult to get to. Let's see. Oh, there's a birch, dead birch there too. So let's go see if we can, oh, right here. Look, there's a birch just laying. Oh my goodness, look at all this nature's fire starter right here. See all this? All right, so pretty much all that's left is the bark. And this bark is highly flammable. I mean, you can just take a lighter to it and it just lights as long as it's not too waterlogged. Um, like this piece over here that's all curled up, I think, would be ideal. We just have to be careful about getting down to it. Um, the next thing we want to do is get hurt, especially when we're out camping. Way to end. Trip. We don't need much, you know. Um, I actually wanted to see... if we could get <laughs> down that birch right there safely <laughs> and then get back up because I'm kind of not wearing the right type of shoes for this so this is kind of fun Whoop. all right so this piece up here is not covered in snow the whole time looks like there's been something getting at it but this particular piece is actually pretty dead just look at that and i'm telling you this stuff burns like paper so we're going to use a little bit of this off this dead piece here for our fire when we start and you guys will see it lights incredibly just incredibly It's getting about time to start our fire and my buddy Travis on the Travis show uh, his YouTube channel check him out um, he made a great point when it comes to starting fire he said you know what it's good to have the primitive skills and everything you know uh, using a flint and steel or magnesium and steel and uh, all those other things are great and dandy but in a survival situation you want to use the best tool most efficient tool that you have uh, I do have a lighter. Um, I was going to play around with this fire steel just for the fun of it. Um, I also brought some uh, cheater sticks. Uh, these are uh, fire sticks here and they're kind of, they're, they're soaked in, you know, something flammable and they burn really good and so I was planning on using that too. But let's just take a look and see if we can kind of get some primitive. Might not be able to, I haven't practiced it in a long time. 
I'll open this up. I have not used this at all yet. I've used one of these before, but I have not used it at all. I'll just toss this in here. Now, fortunately, we have nature's fire starter, that, that birch that we found. And so we'll see if uh, we can't use it. I know if I put a lighter to this stuff, it'll light quick, fast, and in a hurry. But generally, be nice if we could get it with the uh, fire steel and magnesium right so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take this magnesium and I'm just gonna scrape it into that and I'm gonna flip it around and here's the steel ouch trying to hurt yourself Pain having it attached like that. Some more so you can't lose it. So just take it out. Guys. Totally fully expecting to just break down and use the lighter. Uh, but let's see if we can make it work, huh? Might as well try it. It. I was not expecting to do it, but I did it. So now we need this easy to burn stuff here. Come in on that, maybe without trying to try not to burn it. Now I didn't have my twigs ready or anything, because to be honest, I was not expecting to get that to work. Um, but it did. <laughs> I really, guys, I didn't even use the fire stick. I was not expecting that to work at all. I'll put it in there, though. Make sure she keeps going. Yeah, I'm actually kind of shocked right now. I really was not expecting to get it to light. <laughs> So this is why it's important you have your fire ready. I, guys, I was not expecting at all to actually get it to light with my flint and steel, or my steel stick and magnesium and whatnot, but hey, it worked. <laughs> uh... I mean, that shows... If I had expected that it was going to work, I mean, I would have had this stuff ready. Uh, but cool. Hey. 
It's always cool when the plan comes together. I'm gonna put one of these little fire sticks in here too, just to hopefully help out. Some of the wood's a little wet, but that's okay. All right, guys, we got our pot on boil. What we're gonna do today is try to make us some uh, campfire stroganoff. And we got all the ingredients prepared beforehand. Got some red wine, which is awesome. Got our beef. Got our mushrooms. butter, sour cream, onion, got our garlic, and oh, need our Northwood smoke, don't we? And our Northwood smoke, which actually you can use like salt is kind of how you use this for seasoning. So, first what we got to do is we got to get some butter in the pot. So a stroganoff, we're going to be generous with the butter. I'm going to do start us off. Actually, I think this will be hot enough, hot enough over there to start that. paste in there. The idea here is try to sweat those onions. And this time is when I first like to start throwing in some seasoning. So we're going to throw in some Northwood smoke next. And Northwood smoke in there. And that's not enough. Let's just let's just let's just do a little pour, shall we? Big shout out to Irons Emissions Store in Irons. We were able to go and get these pans on the cheap because we didn't want to use good pans on the campfire. We're starting to get those onions to sweat. So next, we throw in our mushrooms. I wish you guys could smell this. <laughs> it smells good. situation.
So next, we're gonna go with just some simple red wine. It can be cheap for cooking. You don't need the best stuff for cooking. And so we're gonna actually add this red wine to go in. Just a little bit. And a little bit more. Look at that, look at, look at how that's coming out. And you see that sauce start to build in the bottom of the pan there? That's what you're looking for with the butter. And the wine marrying. If you don't like alcohol, it all cooks out. And you just sit it on there. And when you're cooking on a campfire, the biggest thing you don't want to happen you don't want it to start burning, but it's starting to look really good. See that caramelization there? That's what you want to see. Alright, so we're going to leave it off the fire just for a minute. And now we're going to add our steak. So we cube this up good and thin. Just about, you know, half inch, quarter inch pieces. All we wanted. Last, every last bit, well, he's not wanting that, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna kinda keep doing that motion. And put it back in the fire. Now what we're gonna do is, we gotta use a spoon a little bit, a little bit heavier. Not so easy, or easy to turn as it was. Make sure everything mixes in there real good. So it's starting to come out. Look all nice. It's just starting to come out perfect. So once we got this beef done, we're actually going to kind of just keep it warm. Because what we want to do is once the pasta water is done, we want to add pasta water to it. So I'm just going to let it hang out right there. All right, so while that pasta is starting to boil, I'm going to add the sour cream now. Don't be scared to be liberal with your sour cream. This recipe is all about using sour cream. So I'm gonna stir this in and we'll start to get that really nice creaminess that we're looking for. The pasta water, or the pasta's doing its thing. And the last ingredient of this will actually be the pasta water. Um, and that will kind of finalize the sauce and then we'll heat it for a little, we'll, we'll kind of cook it for a little bit longer and uh, then we will have a proper stroganoff. Oh, look at that. Starting to get that good color, that brown and the white mix in there together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's going to be so good. Uh, my mouth's going to water and I'm kind of hungry. Feel this handle. Seems like the handle's fine. It won't hurt me. All right, so the pasta's getting done. So I'm going to strain this and save a little bit of that pasta water and uh and we'll continue all right guys let's see what we're doing here all right so as you can see i left a little bit of that pasta water in there there's our pasta cooked i'm just going to add it to the skillet here with the pasta water because that pasta water has got starch so now we're done with this pan that'll be cooking. um that now that my wife's here she can help me film a little bit which is good so i just need the light on it on the subject Alright, now I'm going to take this and we're going to toss this pasta and stroganoff sauce together. Oh, oh, oh. How's that smell, honey? Uh, 
can smell it. It smells like smoky strogo. <laughs> okay, now I got, okay, there it is. I was having a hard time smelling it. Yeah, now we're just gonna let it cook just like this for a little bit and try to keep it from burning because it kind of cooks more on one side than the rest, you know? All right, Julie. We're in the truck here. Oh. How's it, how's it look? Uh, I mean, it looks like stroganoff. Yeah, it does. And uh, now now for the taste test. This is the, what will tell us here. I want to get a noodle. Okay, I gotta get a noodle first. Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Not too bad over a campfire? Mm -hmm. All right. I've been slaving over this, so it's going to taste extra good to me. We've got a mushroom and a piece of steak. and Oops. I just fling a noodle at myself. Um, yeah, good luck. And get a noodle too. Mm. My goodness. The steak is actually tender because it was, you know, that's the, kind of the trick of cutting it. In the smaller bites anyways especially in this kind of situation you can't cook it for a very long time otherwise it'll burn mm. Mm -hmm. those are good perfect al dente mm -hmm. which means to the tooth by the way got that little bit of bite and that's what that means in italian is to the tooth um phenomenal mm. you can have good quality meals when you go out and you camp you can you just have to prepare a little and i mean that's good stuff well here we are in the uh bed of the truck we got the little mr buddy here there are these windows over here are cracked and whatnot and we've got some airflow out here because of uh that's a tarp over there and everything and uh, that, those Mr. Buddies have a thing there. If there's not not enough oxygen, it will actually click itself off. So we're good. Um, that's kind of bright. Hopefully you can see us. What do you think, honey? You think we're going to get any sleep? I don't know. I will. Yeah. I don't know how good it'll be. Yeah, right. Well, we'll get a little bit of sleep. Um, been a wonderful night so far. And uh, we'll talk about that giveaway in the morning. Uh, good morning everybody um at about four and a half hours maybe five hours worth of runtime on the heater um definitely could use an air mattress or something um because uh yeah i'm a little stiff <laughs> other than that i mean this is gonna work great for doing camps once we have just a little bit more cushion i'm i'm feeling a little old and stiff Oh, you on? Well, I couldn't lay still, so I, I had to move around a lot. Yeah, but we did get a little sleep, so I mean, at least, hey, we got we got sleep, so that's good. So we're going to get up and get around and then make some breakfast. Nothing better than coffee out of a French press 
except for maybe coffee warmed up or water warmed up on a campfire out of a French press. <laughs> Before we get into breakfast, I did want to talk to you about our giveaway. We're pretty excited about this. So how this works is uh, you guys need to be subscribed. You need to like the video and in the comment, you're going to give the keyword and I'm going to give that keyword in just a second. I'm going to tell you what the, what the grand prize is. So what the prize is, is you get one of our Truex Outdoors uh, trucker caps. You get uh, one of the homemade Petoskey necklaces that Julie has done. Um, she's going to pick that out. We'll have a picture somewhere on either side of me here <laughs> as the video goes. Uh, you will get a uh, um, uh, adventure pack of Truex Outdoor Smoke. And I made a prototype lure, uh, a spinnerbait, with colors that usually work for me. And so you'll get to try it out for yourself and see if it's any good. Uh, I'll be sending that also. It's a trout spinnerbait that I use on the Little Manistee. So um, yeah, that's going to be our big giveaway. Um, and the uh, secret code is SAWTOOTH, S-A-W-T-O-O-T-H. Yes, and that was fresh out of my brain, and I don't know why I chose it, but that's what came to, the, came to my mind. So SAWTOOTH is the uh, keyword, so put that in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and give a big thumbs up. Um, I did want to mention, guys, just really quick, uh, the point of our channel. Once again, the point of our channel is to really share the rugged, beauty of northern Michigan to enjoy the outdoor sports that we have just so prevalent here um, and I'm not gonna baloney you guys like some of the other youtubers and be like oh you know subscribe if you want or you know I'm just doing this for fun honestly guys I'm trying to make a living I, I really am I'm trying to turn this into something that I can make a living because I love being out here I love doing this stuff um, and so you guys have this cool opportunity and, and anybody watching has this cool opportunity to change somebody's life for free. Um, all you got to do is hit the subscribe, watch our videos. And, and the thing is in hitting subscribe, it's actually not, uh, it's, I'm not asking you to do something for nothing. When you hit subscribe, I'm trying to provide some quality content for you. And, uh, you know, for me, my wife and my two kids, we, we thank you very much. My whole life I've been... I've been just poor and, ha and had a just, a just a rough life, and it would be amazing to be able to do something I love and to break the mold, break the cycle, you know, and um, do something that is incredible and make a living and that sort of thing. So I just wanted to throw that out there. So please share with your friends too. Have them subscribe, have them like, because the more people that do it, and it's totally free to everybody, the ch closer to the chance that I actually get to you know, make a living doing this. So I really do appreciate you guys. We're gonna have our coffee and then we'll cook some breakfast. All right guys, so for breakfast, we're doing this cheese potato breakfast sausage that we get from the Dublin General Store in Dublin, Michigan. Um, you know, if you've not been there, in Wellston, it's really Wellston, Michigan, but Dublin, it's a funky story. But anyways, if you haven't been to the Dublin General Store, and this is not a paid advertisement, go there. I love them dearly, they've, they've been incredible. Amazing jerky, amazing meats, and uh, yeah, definitely go there if you haven't been there. Well, that's going to be our breakfast today, so um, I maneuvered some of this uh, this fire so that way I could get the pan in a good spot, I think. That's the kind of, it's, it's hard to do campfire cooking sometimes. Let's open this bad boy up. There we go. That's a nice sizzle. Yeah. So let's get to cooking. So we got the sausage broken up a little bit and we're gonna add some of our Northwood smoke seasoning to it. And like I said, this stuff goes good on everything and you use it more like as a con conventional salt with extra flavor. So think of it as like a seasoning salt, even though it doesn't taste like what you're thinking when I say seasoning salt. It's really good and it just works as, you know, to get enough salt going. And depending on what you put it on, the f different flavors come out. It's true. It because it's got our favorite it's stuff in it. It's got sage, it's got... It's us in a canister. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's really good, so... Alright. So, threw some tortillas on, just get them a little bit warmer, more pliable. Oh, yeah. Our sausage mixture here, with, it's got cheese in it, and potatoes, and cut fresh on the um, it's, it's cooked fresh on Northwood smoke with Northwood with, smoke. No, yeah, there you go. She's been dying to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's because I haven't had it this way yet because we made it this winter. Yeah, we did make the Northwood Smoke this winter for the first time, so we've never had it on open campfire, have we? Mm -mm. But this is how it's meant to be, you know. All right. In case you ever wondered, I'll show you how to properly fold a burrito. You can bring your sides in, and you bring this in, and you push back like that, and then you're going to curl in your sides, your sides, and fold the rest of the way over. And boom, you got a burrito that won't mess up and it's ready to go the show's not over yet but we wanted to give a special thanks to these companies who have helped us out a lot along the way now these are keto uh tortillas because if you've watched my other videos i have mentioned i am diabetic um and uh i think yesterday was the most undiabetic friendly dinner i've had in a little while uh, but even that wasn't bad because we didn't use a lot of pasta and you did a lot of work to get and it going I did a lot of work to get it going so uh, let's see how the uh, Dublin sausage and Northwood smoke. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Like, is it like a breakfast heaven in your mouth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to fold my wife's up so she can dry. Oh, thanks. They're so nice. You guys can see how to do this again. So I just fold it over and you use the tortilla to push the contents back in. Fold. The sides in one more time. Nice roll. Oh, you don't need to get a video of me. Doing oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta. Go. This is. You said this is why you're a fat girl, right? Because. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you think, hon? <clears throat> Thumb of approval. Mm -hmm. Nice. All righty. Well. So this has been our camping trip together. Um, at beautiful backwaters of Tippy Dam um, at the Tippy Dam campground and uh, we've had an amazing time. Guys, we're at 213 subscribers last time I looked. Could be more now, I haven't checked this morning, but uh, man, I, all I've got to say is thank you. Um, excited to get the, um, the uh, subscription prize or package out or whatever you want to call it. And uh, thanks for letting us come out and do this and Thanks for joining us and watching us. Till next time, God bless.